After a five hour long rollback and completing the quest twice, Guardians of the Rift is finally here. So in today's video, I decided to test out one hour to see what we could get XP wise and GP wise and see how closely it falls into their predicted rates. First up for XP, I ended up with 32k runecrafting XP in that one hour. And I do want to note this is loot from five total games, which is basically one hour. Every single one of these games ranged from like 12 to 13 minutes, almost resulting in exactly one hour of loot. Granted, you have to give or take a few minutes in regards to that. And at the same time, 32k rune crafting XP isn't anything special, but it does fall within the 20 to 60k they expected. And I imagine there are plenty of things that are going to come out over the following days and weeks that you can probably bump up that drastically in comparison to what we know on day one. Either way, the basic loot we ended up getting in terms of just runes I crafted, and I dropped all of the junk runes being like the earth, fire, air, and water, but from the other runes we ended up with a total of 82k, and after 5 games I ended with a total of 12 elemental points and 18 catalytic. Therefore, while it will take one of each to give me back a reward, I can search this rift 12 times, so let's go ahead and get that started and see what we end up getting. Now that that's out of the way, go ahead and start searching, starting out with some basic runes, nature tally, air tally, oh, we're starting out really rough, some abyssal ashes, 20 abyssal pearls, that's a decent start, some extra law runes, so we ended up with 20 abyssal pearls as our best loot. We go over here and trade the apprentice we can see what the prices of all the extra loot is from the store this is where you're going to use your abyssal pearl currency and it looks like the total outfit comes out to 1600 total points but if we go ahead and step over here and pull up our price checker put everything in here and see what one hour of loot from guardian of the rift on day of release gets you not imagining it's going to be too much and we ended up with about 150k Overall, the loot was pretty trash, but I also don't have 77 runecrafting, and there were plenty of instances where I could have easily made blood runes had I had that level. So we definitely could have made a little extra money there, but at the same time, I think the loot from the reward search was a little underwhelming. Matter of fact, I almost made the exact same amount from just my basic crafted runes during the minigame that I did from the reward loot. Therefore, overall, not too insane in terms of XP rates and definitely very underwhelming in terms of rewards, at least initially. These Abyssal Pearls can definitely stack up in the long run. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And if you did, consider dropping a like. It massively helps these out. And if you're around here often and you're not already, hit that subscribe button down below. We're getting pretty close to 3,000 total subscribers. Either way, I'll catch you guys in the next video.